Hey guys, Pedro here to tell you about the latest from My Wrath, Karma, out February 2nd on Year Music. The album has 11 tracks, 47 minutes in length, and this is the band's sixth full-length studio album. They are a Tunisian folk progressive metal band. When it comes to the design of this record, you're going to find an album that is very connected. There's a sense of continuity from song to song, almost like each track leaves you with a slight cliffhanger that keeps you waiting for what the next track is going to offer. This adds incredible playability throughout the entire album. It's an album that you lose track of time. It has the right construction with the right ebbs and flows, creating the perfect journey. A journey that has a very well-defined beginning, middle and end, which helps the process and it helps the listener be guided through the path that the album provides. An album that I wouldn't go as far as to call it a concept record, but it's definitely a theme-driven album. And that, that theme is what connects these songs, or at least helps connect these tracks in the overall big picture that the album provides. As far as the sound is concerned, the first thing that I noticed is that this album had all the My Wrath elements, but perhaps some of them a little bit less than I was expecting coming in, and some of them a little bit more than I was expecting coming in. Let's talk about the ones that I, I felt like had less impact on this record. To me, this is an album that doesn't showcase as much of their folk side as previous records. It's also an album that doesn't showcase as much as their progressive side as previous records. This is not to say that you're not going to find folk elements, and this is not to say that you're not going to find progressive elements throughout the entire album. It's 11 songs, 47 minutes. You're going to find some of it throughout this record, throughout this experience. But they're not the driving forces behind the sound. They're just layers, they're just pieces, small pieces of a much larger puzzle. They add spice, they add fragrance, they add movement, they add texture, and that's exactly where they stay. They're not the pieces that really come to the forefront, that define the experience, that allows the listener to hold on to them and, and really see them develop song in and song out. That surprised me. I was expecting the album to have a lot more of that, or at least these two ingredients to play a much bigger role than what they play. Now, the elements that play a bigger role, bigger than what I was expecting, is the fact that this album has a lot of classic heavy metal and even power metal elements. And those, those are the ones guiding the experience for the the larger part of the record. Once again, there are some songs that have more of a progressive drive to them, but overall, when you look at the big picture of the sound on this record, I think you're gonna find a lot more classic heavy metal moments and elements in the sound, in the experience, in the construction of the songs, in the execution, and even power metal elements that really helps push these songs and create a little bit more of a more bombastic experience behind these tracks, because overall, this is a big sounding album. I would go as far as to say this is a very cinematic sounding album. And I think that plays a role in, in emphasizing the themes within the songs. So it's important to have that cinematic drive behind the tracks in order not just to create volume, but to create size, to make this, the songs feel larger than life. If, you tr if you're trying to tell stories that are larger than life, the sound has to represent those same stories in that same factor. So leaving the progressive and the more folky uh, as an element, as a layer, as, as an, an add-on as far as texture is concerned, and emphasizing the more classic heavy metal sound and even the more power metal sound that this album offers, I think it does that. It enhances that cinematic aspect of the record. It makes the sound feel big, feel large, fill in all the space, and every single song has this massive, foot, massive, massive footprint to it. There's no small songs on this record, every song sounds and feels big. And that is because of those two elements being the main components and the main ingredients behind each and every single song and the ones that you can really feel, that you can really tell, that you can really hold on to once you embark on this journey, once you embark on this roller coaster ride of, uh, of an album from first all the way to the last. The production behind the record is outstanding. It allows you to still see the layers that perhaps have a less impact in the sound, they're still noticeable. They still add, like I said, to that texture. So it's an album that from a production standpoint, it elevates the elements, it elevates all of these different pieces, and it gives this, it helps give that cinematic vibe because this album also has great orchestrations. And once again, the production behind them and the production in, in terms of how to bringing them in with all the other moving pieces, still allowing the guitars to be on the forefront, plays an important role in order for the sound to feel clear 
to feel crisp, to feel large, to feel like it has a lot to give. Uh, it, 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 without that production behind it, it would be nearly impossible to make a record sound as magnificent, as over the top as this one does. And like I said, still allowing the elements to have their own space. Elements like the guitars, for example. The guitar sound on this record is magnificent. I, I really enjoyed the, the different textures, the different experience that we got from the guitars. Not always progressive, not always classic heavy metal, not always power metal. Just a lot of variety, a lot of spice. Variety is the spice of life. And this record really showcases that from a guitar standpoint. I think if there's one element on this album that has a lot of different faces or that puts on a lot of different hats, depending on the song, depending on the situation, it's definitely the guitars. It's the most dynamic, I would go as far as to say, is the most eclectic element within the soundscape of this album. The drums, for example, feel very warm, very connected. Uh, they complement the big sound, the big experience, but they don't have a really defining moment within this record. They don't overshadow the guitars. They're there more to complement the sound. They're there to complement the experience and to help with the orchestrations really define that bombastic cinematic sound experience that this record has. Not as dynamic, not as volatile, but I was not expecting them to be uh, as much of a moving piece as the guitars are. Vocally, the album is exactly what I was expecting it to be. One of those flawless performances. Uh, an album that it embarks on, on this storytelling aspect that it's really important vocally for you to be able to give the songs the right emphasis, the right tonality, the right delivery to match the size of the song with the size of your vocal delivery, but still not forget that you have to tell a story and you have to be captivating in how you tell it. And I felt like this album really found a nice balance between both, between being able to match and showcase, help showcase the size of the sound and how, uh, how the sound was created and at the same time still concentrate on the dynamics of the storytelling and the emotional baggage that comes with it to try to get into the feel of the character, to get try to get into the feel of the theme in order to better deliver a more organic, a more natural performance. So very strong album vocally. I was always mesmerized. I mean, it, it just feels like more than vocals really on this record, they are another instrument. An album that I enjoyed tremendously from beginning to end. It's a very catchy, it's a very hooky album. It has this big bright cinematic sound. For the fans that are expecting a little bit more of the progressive side of the band to come through or even a little bit more of the folky side of the band to come through, I think you might be slightly disappointed because the record goes in a slightly different direction. It doesn't forget those elements, but it's not as focused on them as previous albums have been. This is a much different record from that standpoint. It offers a different sound, a different experience. It's a different album, but one that I enjoyed tremendously from start to end. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I wanna start off with To The Stars. This is the opening track, and this is one that has a little bit more of that progressive sound, of that folk influences, and that's really noticeable, specifically in the verses, more so than in the chorus. Uh, it, it, it goes into a different direction in the chorus. The chorus is a lot more bombastic, a lot bigger, a lot more cinematic, but having the verses connect to that more folky progressive side of the band is a great way to start the album because it doesn't jolt the listener right from the get-go. It gives you something that you're familiar with, it gives you something that you can connect with, and then you can start moving along and, and discovering different chapters throughout the experience of listening to this album and seeing different directions that the band takes throughout the record. But starting with this song, To The Stars, it's a great start because musically and vocally connects with previous albums of the band, c connects more with that progressive folky side of the band, but at the same time, it opens the door to what the rest of the journey is gonna have in store for the listener. So it's a great song to open up because of these characteristics of connecting with the past while still opening a door towards the future. Next we have Temple Walls. This is a track that also brings a little bit more of a folky progressive vibe uh, to the experience, a song that I really connected with and a song that has uh, that folky progressive uh, experience very subtly in the verses, really subtle. And, and that's the beauty of this record is that it still connects with those elements, but it doesn't necessarily give them the keys to the car. They're more on the back seat, they're more a passenger throughout the ride, 
This song is a perfect example of that. The progressive side also comes through, not just from the guitar sound standpoint, but on this track, perhaps even more with the bass. The bass pops, it has a presence, it complements the guitars and drums, and it gives it that emphasis, that texture, that layer of progressive sound that the song really calls for. Vocally, excellent, massive. Um, it helps add size to the song. The song already has its own size, but the vocal performance really helps make the song feel and sound even bigger. A little bit more controlled in the verses, and then a little bit looser in the chorus, creating the right ebbs and flows, creating the right movement. But this is a song that vocally sets itself apart from every other track on the record. It's one of those that you can't really say that one element is driving the experience uh, sound-wise because the vocals are really the ones driving everything. The sound is there to kind of um, fill in the blanks and really help elevate the vocals into the next level, putting them on a pedestal. Last but definitely not least, well, technically, it is the last song on the album, Carry On, uh, a closing track with great guitar sound, really great guitar sound, and I enjoy the orchestrational, the or orchestral pieces that this track have uh, allows the song to have a very wide footprint. It's not necessarily a song that feels like it has a lot of volume, that feels like it's growing upwards, but it's rather a song that feels like it grew laterally. It has a large roots, it has a large footprint, and this allows the song to be a little bit heavier, uh, but still have some brighter, bigger and brighter moments connected into that overall sense of heaviness that the track has. And that heaviness is coming from the guitars and drums, but the guitars really push the, the point forward. They are a little bit, uh, they have a little bit more size to them, if you will, and the vocals just ride the wave from beginning to end. They just ride the wave. And then the track closes off with a bang. It's a track that feels cinematic still, but feels cinematic from a different perspective. It feels cinematic because of how wide it is, not because of how big it is. But having that heaviness, having those vocals really move along with the volume and with the sound and with the movement uh, really completes the song and makes this an outstanding closing track on an outstanding album. My Wrath with Karma out February 2nd. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know your thoughts, and I'll be reading those and getting back to you, and I'll see you all at the next video.